Can your scoliosis make you dizzy? When it comes to balance of the body and proprioception of the body, we have particular systems of your brain and your ear that are actually related to controlling balance and proprioception. This is called your vestibular system. And this vestibular system is reflexive and it's happening in time and in need, meaning as you change your body position, it's automatically controlling and sending signals to reappropriate re balance and, and proprioception. Vertigo, very particularly, is a symptom of the vestibular system abnormality where your body is not responding properly. And vertigo feels very, very different than your normal balance. Uh, the classic thing is that you feel like you have a spinning sensation going on, like you're almost like on a constant roller coaster or you've been spinning in a circle and you stop, right? And then you get really dizzy. That constant spinning, because the reaction between your inner ear and brain is not happening properly. It also feels like you're moving while you're standing still. Like you'd be here, you feel like you're actually moving slowly in one direction. You can get a feeling of lightheadedness um, from standing to sitting, sitting to standing, laying down to standing, rolling, you know, when you're laying down, rolling to your left or to your right, and just general overall kind of like dizziness. Um, these symptoms can sometimes be associated with scoliosis because scoliosis has some very specific symptoms associated with it. Um, they're, they can cause postural changes. It can cause some pain in, uh, pain in adult cases, not so much in adolescent. It can, but the big thing, it can change balance. There is a correlation between balance and gait and scoliosis because they share this common problem when, when you move the torso and move the body out of its symmetrical position, it can create balance, equilibrium, and proprioception problems. Balance problems are when you're, you, know, like you feel like you can't stand properly. Equilibrium is more like the spinning issue, and proprioception is when you don't, you don't know where, or your body brain is not aware of where you are in your space. For example, when you tell a scoliosis patient to stand straight, and they're over here, they feel like they're standing straight because to them, their brain says, this is straight, and that's called proprioception issues. So can scoliosis cause vertigo or vertigo cause scoliosis? And that's the big question. We know adolescent idiopathic scoliosis is multifactorial, meaning there's a lot of things that can be associated to the causation. There are some studies that suggest that there is a link between the causation of vertigo and maybe some causation of scoliosis because when you affect posture, you affect the writing reflex. When you affect the writing reflexes during growth and development, this causes a shift or a postural deviation in the body. This can lead to bone remodeling as a patient is growing, which could lead to a structural scoliosis. So there are some correlations to actually say that this can possibly occur. However, it's idiopathic. We don't know exactly. Can scoliosis cause other types of dizziness is a very common question I get. Anytime you shift the posture from the center, it can lead to some type of dizziness, proprioceptive problem, vertigo, and dizziness because the body isn't in balance. And when you take the body out of balance, it, it can't sense what neutral is. Also, since scoliosis affects the entire spine, it could affect the way the cerebral spinal fluid actually flows within the spinal cord. The cerebral spinal fluid actually is what feeds the brain and spinal cord. If you equate irregularities and pressure in the cerebral spinal fluid, it can lead to different types of balance changes and it can lead to headaches. Scoliosis, the central nervous system, brain function, and the way the vestibular system functions are all related because it affects posture and center of gravity and proprioception. Scoliosis has a lot of symptoms that are associated and correlated with it. And uh, dizziness and vertigo and loss of balance and proprioception issues could all be in that. So if you're seeing some type of postural problem and you're experiencing vertigo or dizziness or proprioception issues, Check your spine to see if there's actually a connection between you actually having scoliosis and the other symptoms that you're experiencing. Because if there is, maybe reducing your scoliosis could help you improve what you're experiencing with your dizziness and vertigo. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.